at different times of the year grass grows at different rates obviously in um, spring when it's sort of warm and wet it all grows beautifully right now it's nice and cold and the grass is growing very slowly and that means that it's actually being over mown at the moment the way the auto mower works is that you say how many hours each day you want it to run and because the grass is barely growing at the moment the mower is mowing for two hours every day and I need to change it so that it's only going to mow uh, maybe every couple of days or reduce the time. So let's have a look at how you do that in the setup of the mower. Start by unlocking the mower, just put your, in your pin and then we'll have a look in menu. And here are some options that you can use. So the timer is where you specify when you want it to run. It's already selected by default, so we'll hit OK. And now we can see that it's got schedules for Monday through to Sunday. It's basically like a little vertical timeline for each day of the week. You can see the period where it's going to run. Now in this particular case, um, I think I've got it starting around 9am to 11am. So it's just got a bar for every day of the week. And then you can go across and select which day of the week you want. So let's select one of the days of the week and go in and change it. Let's just pick Tuesday randomly. We'll hit OK. And you can see in here that there are a couple of periods. You might want to program two periods on that day. For example, you might want it to run early in the morning and then again late in the afternoon. And you can see that there is a little flashing cursor here. And that is so that we can adjust the time. So if we go to... Oh, it's got AM on there. And then left and right arrows. I can move across and then I can change the numbers as well. So at the moment it's running 9am till 11am, so it's two hours every day. I'll go across to where it's got 11 and I want to make it 10 instead. So I'll just type in 10 on the keypad and it's now from 9am until 10am. It's back and now you can see on the little timeline it's got a shorter period for Tuesday because I've reduced it from two hours to one hour. Now it'll be a bit annoying having to go into that and change it for every day individually. So what you can do, if we go into Tuesday, is use the down cursor to go, down arrow to go down to the copy, hit OK. So we can now copy this profile to all of the other days of the week. So I'll just hit OK on all days, they're all selected, and it's now applied there. So if we go to, if we go back, back, and now if we look at all of the days of the week, it's now got that short period on it. So it's got one hour for each day. So that's how easy it is to change the period that you want this to run. And you may need to change that from time to time during the year so that at different seasons, it's running for different durations. What would actually be nice is to have multiple profiles. So you could have a summer profile, a winter profile, and just select which one you want. Oh, there's Bonnie the dog, come out to investigate what's going on. So that rather than having to go out and change it, you could just say, I want the summer profile now or the winter profile. Unfortunately, this particular model doesn't have it. I'm not sure if any of the more advanced ones do, but that would be a nice feature. In any case, it's very easy to change the programming so that now it's only going to be running once per day, or one hour per day rather. So having thought about this for a few more seconds, I think Husqvarna is right not to have multiple profiles. One of the big dangers with technology is that it's very tempting to just keep adding features. And the problem is that as you add features, you also get complexity. Now with the current system, it is so easy to go in and change the setting for one day and then just copy and paste it to the rest of the days that that is probably easier than trying to maintain multiple profiles like a profile for summer and a profile for winter so I think Husqvarna have done the right thing in just having one set of settings and not giving you an option for creating multiple season profiles unless you were setting it up through an external system like a phone app and that gave you a bit more control through the user interface uh, it'd be too much of a pain. Trying to set it up through that little keypad on the device itself would just be annoying. So, um, the little mower is still running around doing its thing. The sun has come out now, so it's a lot nicer. And, um, yeah, I 
now that it's running on a reduced number of hours each day, um, the grass won't be over mown as much as it has been.